Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Uh, so this is going to be my February empties and I don't have that many. I haven't been that good at using much of anything. I have been working I think three weeks in a row or something like that. Today is my first day off in like three weeks I think and uh, yeah so I've been very busy and just didn't have time to take care of my skin or anything that's why I look like I do it's almost midnight here I was out for a 95 minute of power walk so I just cannot be bothered putting on any makeup or changing my clothes so you'll have to deal with what I have on and what my face looks like so I'm just gonna dive into my trash here so first of all we have a fragrance that I finished this is from BU Hippie Soul deodorant body spray this is what it looks like I've used that up in my project perfume and I really liked it but I wouldn't know where to purchase this so I won't be trying to find it if I do come across it somewhere I might purchase it again then we have a little pig here. This is from Isabelle Laurier. Um, and it is a bath and shower gel thingy. Um, it was nice. It smelled really nice, berry kind of scent to it. Um, and I used it to make a bubble bath for myself. So that was really nice. Um, I got this at a spa that I go to sometimes in a set with uh, scrubby things and stuff like that so I used that one up then I used up a like, what's this a face mask this is ginseng from what Tencel Watson's I'm not sure which brand of this which part of this is the brand name but this is what it looks like this is something that my sister brought to me from um, Thailand when she was there so this is made in Korea it says so it's a Korean face mask I didn't like this um, it smelled very much like ginger I think um, it was a little bit annoying for my eyes a little bit too too strong of a scent for my eyes um, which sounds weird but it just affected my eyes for some reason and yeah I didn't think I didn't enjoy the scent this is not something I would purchase again it was an okay mask then we have a Giorgio Armani C Passion um, just a little sample size fragrance thingy that I used up it was nice, nothing that I would try to purchase. Then we have a face wash, this is from Barbella Wildcat face wash, this is what it looks like. Uh, this I purchased or actually was recommended to me when I took this piercing uh, in my ear here. So I used it to mostly to wash this first month and a half while it was healing and then the last part I just used it up as a regular face wash, washing my face with it. It was okay, nothing I would try to purchase again. It was quite expensive for what it is. Then we have a hand mask. This is from the body shop in the scent Moringa. What did I say? Hand mask? I said, I mean hand cream. <laughs> this is what it looks like. And I used up every last little bit of it. Like I can't get any more out of it here. So this one was 100 milliliters really nice I love hand creams in general this smelled nice I would probably purchase it again at some point we have a toothpaste this is from Colgate max white toothpaste this is what it looks like also used up to the max was nice probably will end up repurchasing it at some point again then we have a mascara this is from Isadora this is big bold mascara super volu voluminized volumizing this is what that one looks like it was nice but I have a big issue with you see the this one is very huge 
I have a big issue with Isadora's um, mascaras. If you have watched my empties before, you know they always end up being very dry. They are either already dry when I purchase them or they dry out really fast. So for that reason, I really don't like them, but they are cruelty free and one of the cheapest cruelty free mascaras that are on the market. So I keep repurchasing them. Then we have from the body shop, this is a Moringa Bat Bubble. This is what a vet looked like and that was really nice. I like this scent. Um, and it was a nice bath. It was very foamy and nice and yes, I would definitely purchase this again. And the last thing that I have here is my uh, face protect oil and it is from the brand Essay. This is a brand from Africa. It has as I've been told, it has some kind of a live bacteria in it um, because our skin um, is uh, lacking a lot of bacteria it needs to grow. So for that reason, uh, or it needs to kind of, we need to have a lot more bacteria on our skin than what we have. And this is something that um, is a series of products and this is something that um, actually adds those type of bacteria to your skin I guess so this is made in South Africa I really really like this scent I love this oil so much that I already purchased a new one this is super expensive this is around I think I looked it up it's around 75 US dollars for this little 15 milliliters or 0.5 fluid ounces oil and I can say I purchased a new one about I was a week I was around two weeks without this and I did notice a difference in my skin and it, that's when my skin started to become this and now I'm just trying to repair the damage um, because I tried some other creams and stuff but I do have creams in this line uh, from this brand um, as well so me trying something different made my skin go bananas so then I repurchased this again and I think after having it for like two weeks I think I'm already like down to here so it does go by really fast it is super expensive um, but it's for my skin I have normal skin during summer and spring and fall but I am extremely dry during winter, so for my skin this was really good. So I use this as a topper after um, putting on face cream. I put on some oils as well, so it's really nice, it smells nice, it's, it's awesome, I love it. And yeah, that was it for my empties. I didn't have that many this time around, but anything is better than nothing. And that was it. If you like this video, please make sure to like it down below as well. Make sure to subscribe if you already haven't. I would love to have you here more often. And I really hope to see you in my next one. Bye!